Hello and welcome to Yaogwari Gaming, where we're playing Ark, and I have some bad news for you all. So, I've spent quite a few hours recording and grinding and whatnot, only to find out that for the entirety of that time, my microphone was connected, but not working. So... Luckily, about halfway through that time, I installed a mod um, for the first time, which is, if we have a look here, the awesome Spyglass mod. I installed that so that I can actually breed my dinosaurs, because I put levels in them and I realised I shouldn't have done that, and all that, you know, all that jazz. All that jazz. You can understand why I've done that, so I can have a better understanding of my dinosaurs and breed them efficiently. Which means I did create, for the first time, a backup save. Which is really good, because that means about half of the time I've wasted, I've actually got back. So, I'd just like to introduce you to my new and improved Dino Catcher, which I have introduced you before, but, you know, it's all gone now, it's all deleted. And basically what I did was I built the doors all the way up to the top and put a roof on. I'm sure that's not efficient, but it worked very well for catching the birds. And then, down here, I built another smaller one for dropping the cats into. So, I have a, a trap complex here. And as you can see from what's sat over here, that has clearly been successful. We have multiple birds multiple cats and multiple t-rexes which i'm quite proud of um so yeah that's that's what i've been spending a lot of time up here doing i did then take them all back home and start building a t-rex house to start breeding the rexes in and unfortunately that's the part of the the gameplay that's gone which means that's what we're going to start doing now. So we're going to start from this point, obviously, whereas uh, before I was starting from taming all of this. And that means that the goal of this episode is to get ourselves a Rex house up and start efficiently breeding these creatures. Now, again, I have installed, I just wanted to be fully transparent with you, the awesome Spyglass mod. If you don't want me to use this, that's fine, just let me know in the comments and I can uninstall it, I think, or I can just drop it in the ocean and never use it again. Um, I would like to preface by saying I am not going to use it on wild animals. I understand how broken it is when using it on wild animals. You could select your perfect captures based on their stats. I don't want to do that, that seems way too gamey. All I want to do is get information about my Rexes that realistically I should be able to get i don't understand why it won't let me have that info so again if you don't want me to use the mod i can uninstall it however i just wanted to clarify i am only using it for already tamed animals i will never use it on a wild animal with that being said i'm gonna go and get this loot drop and then i'm gonna start transporting everyone home so i had to go back I left one of my birds by accident. And look. Oh, what? That isn't mine. She just thinks she lives here now. I mean, no. <laughs> Having a fucking Spinosaurus decide it wants to live in my house. That's... No, it'll end up killing something, so... Sue. Let's go deal with this thing before it. Look, it's killing my. St I think it's destroying my stuff. No, it's just killing a mini dino. Alright, T Rex versus Spinosaur. Come on, you little bitch. Oh! It's come around the back. Ah! I don't like that. Okay, that's actually quite clever. Uh, I can't. Hunt turn enough to get it. There we go. I'm genuinely struggling to turn enough to get the thing. There we go. Angled myself. <laughs> 
Right, so I suppose that's a massive thing that the Spino has all over the uh, T-Rex is its speed. Hmm. So for like boss fights and stuff where it's just a flat fight, the T-Rex is probably better. But for running around day-to-day -day activities, the Spinosaurus is probably better. Especially considering it's aquatic as well. Right, so I have my, I have Sue here, obviously, who I brought back ages ago. Sue was the first one we captured. Uh, Argentus is here, Duck is here. And I dropped the rest of them off over here when I came back. Um, yeah, the cats managed to make it. Um, it's just a pal. Uh, all the T-Rexes made it. And we just left one bird behind by accident. So overall, not a terrible job of bringing them back, I don't think. All right, let's take them over here. Let's take them to where they should be. Hopefully we don't now lose a cat in this bit of water, but we should be fine. And then the next mission, I think is to go and get one of those long clawed things. Um, the ones that killed Hawk. Theravenosaur or something? Theravenosaurus? The ones that people tell me are good at collecting. Um, good at collecting wood because I want to build myself a bit of a hall to start breeding in. And I'm going to need an absolute ton of wood to do that absolute shockingly large amount of wood in order to do this. So, I'm gonna try and get some bolus. Um, I think there's like a new level of bolus that I haven't actually played with before. Bola. Bolas. Yeah, chain bola. Metal. Oh, obsidian. Okay. Usable within a ballista turret. Right. Okay, so I actually can't fire that myself. Uh, it can only be fired in a turret. Huh. In that case, I'm probably just going to fly over there with a crossbow and some arrows and see if we can get it. So I'll empty my inventory. We've got a lot of recipes and stuff that I'm putting in here. So I'll just sort all my stuff out and then we're going to go and see if we can find one of them. I think there are some other things people have told me are good at collecting wood. Um, I'm sure someone said the beaver things are good at collecting wood. I'm sure someone has mentioned mammoths. Is that is that a thing? Mammoths? Why do I have I have mammoths in my head? A, a mammoth good at collecting wood? Maybe we'll go collect a mammoth. I mean that should be uh, easier to find <laughs> and easier to see. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Also, I do seem to be going for the big animals. I don't know. What we'll do is we'll fly around and we'll see what we can see, see, see. At the bottom of the deep blue sea. No, we will not go into the fucking sea. The sea's scary. Oh, God, there's a T-Rex head in my workshop. There's many T-Rex heads in my workshop. We need to uh, move them back a little bit. These are blueprints, aren't they? Yeah, so I'll put my blueprints in here for now. I'm just going to drop that. Yeah, all right. I'm going to put everything away and then we're going to go flapping around for a bit. Okay, so I've just been doing a little bit of management at the base, and I'd like you to introduce—I'd like to introduce you to possibly the most disgusting thing I've ever done, which is Piglet here. Who you jump and you activate Piglet's inventory, and someone told me that these things, if you feed them stimberries, will produce. Well, they produce fertilizer. <laughs> <laughs> made a shit shower. A literal shit shower. But... It's a fabulous way of getting a ton of... Well, fertilizer material, I guess. Oh, it looks like I'm going to need a few more compost bins. Yeah, I'm going to need some more compost bins to... Keep up with this guy's production. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, 
at least that means I can fertilize more plants and get them growing. Uh, we've got some grass growing here. I don't know what that's for. Anarcho berries still haven't grown. I don't know how long they're supposed to take to grow, but it seems to take a heck of a long time. Right, I'm going to make another couple of compost bins, and then I'm going to go out and look for one of these um, wood chopping animals that we need. My god, do you ever stop pooping? Okay, so we have two mammoths here. We have a level 40 and a level 88. I would very much like to get that level 8. 88, not 8. Uh, I do need to be careful. I am taking some damage from the climate up here. I did swap to um, hide armor instead of uh, my metal armor, but even so it's not really enough to actually fully negate the temperature issues we're going to face up here. Let's put one more in and then let's get going. Yeah, I was right. I'd assumed that the mammoths... Ooh, hello. What's the red sparkles around me? Oh, it's a mammoth thing. I assumed the mammoths were going to be a little on the slow side, you know. And it seems like I was definitely right about that. So we can put a couple of shots in and then we can get gone. Ooh, I bet they can, bet they can do damage, though. Oh, look, okay, yeah. Explorer note thing. Alright, if we fly down here, if we stop here, uh, which one is it that we wanted to shoot? It's the one on the right. We'll probably end up trying to kill the other one maybe just to get rid of it. Uh, one more shot maybe. There we go, alright, let's go. to fly. Maybe a little bit down here. I did see some wolves earlier so I do need to be very careful of packs of wolves and whatnot coming to get me. Oh. Um. Yeah, this is the one behind it. Alright. Don't know how quickly the top is dropping on it so we need to put a few arrows in and then get moving. Let's get moving! This is the level 40. Get it killed. Ooh, tough. Right, it's almost there. Fairly sure this is the level 40. Yeah, because the, the one that we were actually trying to torpor is running away. Put a couple more arrows into it, and then let's get going. What's most important is that we get this. Oh no, it's, it's being attacked by something? Yeah, it's being attacked by something. Let's see if we can save it. Oh, this is a bit insane. I don't even know what's attacking it. What is that thing? Oh no. I'm trying to help now. I'm not your enemy anymore. No, it's going to kill it. Right, there we go, we've got that thing dead. Now we need to be super careful with the mammoth because it looks like it's almost dead. Let's go one, wait, two. Right, then let's see, you're the level 40, yep, that's right, okay, good. There. Right, let's put some more damage into the level 41. Right, there we go, and that should 
give yeah, that's given us some health, so we should be able to actually uh, create some fur armor later on now. Right now, let's see. One, two. There we go. He's unconscious. Right. Now this is where things are going to get risky because there's some walls down there already. So, put some berries in. Yeah, that's right. And then. We're going to be struggling now because of temperature. Right, yeah, there's some stones here. We need some flint and stone quickly. And then a tree. See if we can make a torch quickly, see if that helps. Ah, that's the wrong button. Torch. Seven, hold it. Does not really seem to be helping, does it? I mean, we could just fly away and go to the warm area and just track the taming on here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's fly over here and get some healing and just track, keep an eye on the taming via that screen there. If we're lucky, those walls will not wander over. If we're unlucky, they will. What's all that over there? Bunch of Allosaurus. Cool. Alright, we're gonna land up on this rock here, I think. Ooh, a Tech Raptor. I've seen a lot of Tech Dinos and I've only seen one decently leveled one, and it's a Stegosaurus. Right, so we are actually healing here. Let's see, we'll eat some of these berries that we've got. And keep an eye on our health. Right, and then... It is very nearly dead. Yeah, one more hit on that mammoth will kill it. Uh, I'll keep an eye on it. If its unconsciousness drops below like half, then I'll fly over and see what I can do. And here it is, our mammoth is home. So let's put the saddle on him. He's killed some stuff along the way, so let's just get rid of that. And up we go. Oh, he has like a drum that's funky and we've got some points to spend let's let's put a bunch of them into his carry way because he is obviously the purpose of him is to um, collect resources so let's see how he does let's see if we have a good wood creating machine here have a berry farm, definitely, Jesus. Okay. I feel like we're getting a lot more thatch than we are wood. We're getting a lot more thatch than wood. We do have two attacks. We've got a uh, like a tusk whip and a, a trunk. So, sorry, we've got uh, like a head wave and then like a tusk whip. Let's see. The tusk whip doesn't get trees. Oh, and then we've got blows water everywhere. Hmm. This seems like it collects a lot more thatch than it does wood. Like a lot more thatch. You need to type E and drop everything and it drops all the berries. Yeah, that is not collecting a lot of wood at all. It's collecting a heck of a lot of thatch. Yeah. 
and it carries the wood a much lower weight than we do. But it isn't collecting the wood very well. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Right. That's interesting. So we've got something that could maybe serve as a storage beast. Like, it could carry a lot of wood, I guess. But it's definitely not great at collecting them. Jesus Christ, it collects berries like it's going out of fashion, though. Huh. Running through the trees doesn't get us anything. All right, okay, so hmm, we've got something that we can bring with us for when it's time to collect wood, but it's not actually a wood collector, is it? It's more of a wood hauler. That's quite frustrating. All right. I guess we really do need to go find one of those things with the long fingernails of death then. Ooh, the shit shower is still working wonderful. Right, we'll get the mammoth some food. Uh, we've obviously emptied him out, so if we just go... There we go, that's more than enough food, Jesus Christ. Oh, it collects berries very efficiently. Which is good, so it has multiple uses. It definitely replaces Centuria for that, I think. Um, how are we doing over here? We've got some fertilizer. Yeah, nice. Fantastic. So these are all actually starting to turn stuff into fertilizer, which is brilliant. Piglet lives there. Oh! Still only a fruitling. Still only a fruitling. Grow faster! It takes absolutely forever for this stuff to grow. I think we're going to need a massive greenhouse at some point, you know. To, just if it takes so long to grow anything, just grow a huge quantity of the stuff and hope for the best, maybe. Like, if you have so much in one crop that it takes you forever to use it all up, then that kind of works, doesn't it? Um, yeah, we're definitely going to have to go find one of them because we need wood. I want to start building, like, a... Like a baby sanctuary for... Why are all my cats in the water? I don't know. I want to start building a T-Rex baby sanctuary and that's going to take a lot of wood. A lot of resources. So, let's, I guess, keep going. Find something eventually. Yeah, there's not really much option, is there? Alright, let's keep searching then. Okay, it looks like we've got our wood harvesting team ready. We have our Terezino, is that how you pronounce it? Therizino? Therizinosaur? Therizinosaur. Therizinosaur. Thera. Theri. Zeno. We have Zeno. <laughs> and we have our mammoth. So I'm thinking, oh wow. Uh, okay, I'm thinking we drop this thatch because fuck thatch. I've got so much of the stuff. And I'm thinking we take out all of the wood and the narco berries and we get rid of everything else. And we waddle our way over here and go put all this away. Da, 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 da. And we grab an egg. We may as well tame a snake at some point, because we've got so many fertilized baryonyx eggs that we just don't need. But we may as well go find ourselves a really cool snake and fertilize ourselves a pet snake. Uh, Nails is trying to follow me. Stay there. Nails is honestly a bit shit. Like, I know it's a bit shit. His level's awful. Uh, 
but it is what it is. It's, it's the only one I could find, so... I'm sure I'll run into a better one at some point. Right, let's go and see if we can figure this out. So we need to get back onto nails. Yeah, nails can actually go backwards, that's a good start. And then... You follow. And right, we've got a couple of different attacks, so... That gets fat. It's C, isn't it? It's... Is it C that gets the wood? Yeah, it's C that gets all the wood. Okay, so then... We go... Wood and transfer all. This might actually just not be efficient. Just because of how long it takes to do this. Like, honestly, it might just be more efficient to just... Like, there's our 200 wood. And then we can... I feel like this is actually more efficient. I feel like this is so much faster. And with this, you're collecting narco berries as well if you want. Like, so if I wanted to go here, I could go narco, transfer all, then berries, drop all, thatch. Drop all. Wait, does the thatch just not? Yeah, the thatch weighs basically nothing. And then he's full of wood. And I've got some narco berries. I think the mammoth wins. Sorry if you're a massive fan of fan of uh, nails over there. And if if I'm wrong, maybe someone can explain to me why I'm why I'm doing it wrong, or if there's something better. But to me, it, it just seems like the mana things by far. Yeah, like, there's another 300 wood. We can just gather, you know, a couple of thousand wood on the end, maybe, and then come back. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to gather as much wood as I can, and then I'm going to come back, and we're going to start... <clears throat> trying to figure out how we're going to build ourselves our uh, T-Rex hatching place. Basically, it's just a hut that the baby can hatch in. That's all we need. Uh, but obviously the door's got to be big enough for the baby to get in and out of. That's kind of the issue, really. The door has to be big enough for Babby to get in and out. Um, so it's gonna be have to be one of the massive gates like we used on the island, which is fine. Um, and then it's gonna have to have like a roof and a fire and stuff uh, to keep the egg warm. Now it shouldn't need to hold more than one baby, really. Or we could build it bigger and hatch a couple at the same time. Just store the eggs until we're ready to hatch a couple. I think that might be the best option. Just build a massive chamber. And then... Oh shit. Yeah, build a massive chamber. And then we can just hatch like two or three um, T-Rexes at once, check their stats and decide straight away whether or not any of them are viable to you know, continue living because we're apparently Spartans now. 
Right, let's get wood and then let's get to building it, like I said. That's the target for today, definitely getting that built and getting at least a couple of baby mammoths. Out in a baby mammoth? No, no, I've got mammoth fever. <laughs> at least a couple of baby T-Rexes out and about. If we could breed ourselves the perfect T-Rex from the ones we've got, that would be incredible. I can, of course, use the spyglass to figure that out. Um, and then we've got the perfect breeding. But hello. What are you? Idiots, apparently. Right, cool. Let's keep going. What am I doing? I don't know why I'm doing this, but it's fun. <laughs> what am I doing? Like, what is this for? I'm, I'm going to assume, like, PvP and tribes and stuff, where you can have someone riding on the back of the mammoth. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> All right, back to collecting wood. Okay, so I think that's about it. Mammoth's getting quite slow now, so I think it's time to take our stuff back. As you can see from the 30 second countdown thing in the top corner, we did uncover a um, explorer note in those woods, which was cool. That gave our mammoth a little bit of a a little bit of a boost. I was on the mammoth while I got it, uh, so that was good for him. He's leveled up a few times. We've put him up to 2,000 weight, and then we're starting to put some into his melee damage to help collect. And this is what he's got. So how many? It's one, two, three, four, five, six. So so that there is 600 6,000 9 there's probably around 12,000 wood in that mammoth now that sh should should maybe possibly be enough for at least <laughs> That's <laughs> short while, maybe. We'll have to see, won't we? Um, hopefully it is. But it's good to know... Ooh, pardon me. Pardon my yawn. I apologise for that. It's good to know that Mammoth is actually pretty good at collecting those resources. He's very good at collecting berries as well. Like, actually kind of insanely good at collecting berries. Um, hi, Sue. No, you can't eat the mammoth. Look, at, she looks hungry. Look at her. Mm. <laughs> I like mammoth. No, you can't eat my mammoth. Right. So. Building. It's not like we've got a humongous amount of space. I love how I can swim in what is very... Well, what looks like metal armor, and it's made out of metal, so what is obviously metal armor, you know. Very shiny metal armor. Look, I can just swim in it. If you've never worn armor before, I, I have worn plate armor before. I've done uh, HEMA, a historical European martial arts, so like sword fighting and stuff. Um, it's not as heavy as, as it looks, because it's really distributed. But I still wouldn't want to get in the fucking puddle with it, let alone a, a small lake. Right, I think what we need is some thi fiber. That's something I don't think we've got any of. Uh, I know we've got some stored, but look, I have my sickle here, so I can uh, sickle some of these bushes. Be careful not to sickle the feet of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. That sounds like a really stupid thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> really good way to get stomped on, isn't it? That Let's cut the Achilles tendons of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Right. Let's gather some fiber, and then I'm going to try and experiment with um, pillars. I'm going to try and put it on pillars because there. Are is not a humongous amount of flat land around here. I am kind of starting to run out of land. That should be more than enough fiber. We, we put that into the mammoth now. Yeah, that's more than enough fiber. He obviously doesn't appreciate that. Thank you, mammoth. Okay, let's have a look at our things. Are you? 
Do I need to be nearby for it to grow? Or can I be anywhere on the map? I don't know, this just doesn't seem to be growing at all. Right, so let's make some pillars then. So we need some wood, and we'll need some fiber, and we'll need some thatch. We've got loads of thatch in our base, and the stuff's really simple to make. I don't think I've actually unlocked the engram for pillars. I had, and then obviously everything went kabooey. So, pillar, let's make 20. We'll want to make a sort of platform and then figure out if it's big enough for a couple of T-Rexes. I'm thinking realistically like 20 or 30 by 20 or 30. We're going to need to make a massive um, doorway as well, one of the behemoth gates. Now that's going to be a pain in the ass to make. Because they just require a lot of uh, a lot of resources to build. So if we put one there, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right. So there's ten, and then we've got. That'll be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And yep, we got an angry fish. Ooh, do the guns not even do anything when I shoot them into the wall? Because that's clever. Bullets don't actually work if you shoot them through uh, water. The uh, the water takes the inertia out of them. So that's really cool if that's if that's how it works. Yes, yes, piss off now. I'm, I'm done with you. you. You're irritating. Oh no, it's alright, Mammoth. Calm down, calm down, calm down. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> There's no need to get uh, yeah, so that looks like a good um, layout for now. I'm going to keep um, putting the pillars down and I'm going to put some um, floors on top and whatnot and then get the door making and we'll join. I'll... Mm. Yeah, yeah, we'll put all the pillars down, then all the floors down, and then put the door on top and then we'll see how we feel once we've got that done. Oh. Okay, yeah, it looks like we actually have an annoying little thing running around. Let's see if we can just get rid of it. It's, it's dead. Wonderful. Right. So, we have our first two Rexes mating. Now, Sue is shit. Basically, all of the good stats come from Grog and King. So, I'm going to try and mate... I'm gonna, and they're both male, so basically what I need to do is make a female version of Grog. So what we're looking for is the perfect baby from these two that's female, and then we should be fine. This is my tremendously large baby pen. I don't know if this is efficient or not. It really doesn't feel like it is. It really feels inefficient, but... But it, it is what it is, really, isn't it? So, and then we have our two fires, and I'm gonna put some wood in each of those fires and turn them on. And this should heat up the space inside, hopefully a little bit, and allow us to. Oh God, that's bright. There's our egg. There's our first T-Rex egg. Hopefully, it wants a nice warm environment too cold. There we go. Fertilized egg. Let's go stick it next to this fire and see what happens. Uh, then we need to see how we go about feeding them when they're in here. How are you now? Too cold. You're next to a fire. Um, now you're in the fire. It's still too cold. Alright, let's see. Can we make another campfire? We 
cannot make another campfire. Why can we not make another campfire? Fuck. Alright. Let's see. Uh... Oh, because we've got no wood because we put it all in these fires here, haven't we? Right. So let's grab a stack out of each. And make another campfire. I don't know. Again, I don't know if this helps. I don't know what. I don't know anything. It's fine. And we'll turn this second campfire on, and then we'll just drop the egg, like... How are you cold? I shut the door. How is it still too cold? Should we wait till, wait till morning, maybe? It is two o'clock in the in the morning. Is it the thatch? Is thatch just really shit? Okay. The egg is losing health fairly quickly. Hmm. I think we need a preserving bin in here. A preserving thing. And then yeah, preserving bin, and then we can put the eggs in the preserving bin in here to keep them ready, and maybe maybe in the daytime it'll be a bit more temperature efficient for them. We need some stone then, don't we? Uh, okay, and uh, we've got some here, let's grab some stone, let's grab some wood. Preserving bin, there we go. Yeah, it's really cold. Um, some fuel for her. Okay, we're gonna wait till morning and then see if we can make it work in the morning. Okay, it's now daytime. Let's shut this door and see if this works. Egg. There we go. Fire's on. Nope, that's not an egg. There we go, egg. Still too cold. So how do I warm this up? If you tell me I need to replace all the walls with like actual wooden walls or stone walls or something, I'm, I'm genuinely gonna cry. Because this already took fucking ages to build. <laughs> and if I build it wrong, I'm just gonna be so depressed. Um. I don't know. I really don't know. Legitimately, the only thing I can think of doing is building a bunch more fires and hoping for the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dying first. I know. I'm gonna get some more stone. I'm gonna get a tiny bit more wood. I'm gonna build a few more fires and we're gonna see what happens. And. If that doesn't, you know, fix it, um, I might cry. <laughs> it's gonna take so long to make that out of wood. <laughs> oh, flint as well, okay. Uh, we need to hit something with a pickaxe. Hit you with a pickaxe, no, that won't work. Okay. All right, this thing, this thing. No, that's a crossbow. Okay, boom. There we go. Right, can I make some more? Oh, I can make a bunch. Right. Cool. This is a potential way of doing it. Just make a <laughs> ton of fires and fry the egg. You're not too cold now, you bastard. Right, let's see. Um, so... Oh wow, they can only stack up to three. Cool. Right, uh, let's drop everything that's weighing us down. Apart from stuff that's combustible. Because we need fuel. Oh, our baryonyxes are trying to lay another egg. Fucking marvellous. Uh, this one isn't fertilised, so... Uh, it's breakfast! Right, let's try another... Th 
three. And let's see if that works. If you're watching this screaming at your computer because I'm being a fucking idiot, I... I'm sorry. <laughs> you get to share some of that disappointment my mother feels. <laughs> oh god. Do you know what? I can't cook either. So this makes sense. I'm hot! Said I was hot, right. We stand right here, we're too hot. There we fucking go, yes. Add fire. That's the way to fix everything, just add fire. I I I need to speak to a therapist, don't I? <laughs> okay, right, so in eleven minutes, ten minutes time, we're going to have a baby Rex, so probably should gather some meat together for it because I'm assuming Babby Rex is going to want a fucking ton of meat and as if by magic hom nom nom bet you're made of meat no it's not a great idea alright we'll take the saddle off Sue because let's be honest she's being ridden enough at the moment Oh, that was not a good joke. Oh, that was not okay. I am sorry. That was not an appropriate joke. We love you, Sue. Right. Um, I feel like my cats should be drowning sat there, but, you know. This Triceratops here, that can be... Consumed... And then there's a couple over there that can also be consumed. We're going to gather some meat and feeding troughs. Will it work if we put meat in a feeding trough? Does that work? Oh, it looks like we've got some eggs to pick up from over here as well, from our little posse of tech dinos. Oh, this guy's angry with us for killing his friend. That's fair. We'll kill this and we'll set Centuri we'll sort Centurion's berries out. Uh, yeah. Yeah, alright, let's do that. So, uh, our inventory isn't too full now, so what we can do is we can take every berry that is an Anarcho berry out of her. And, yep, you're just left with drugs as your food. That's all you eat now. I know how to fix this, we need to make one with an actual dinosaur gate, so you're fertilised, you're fertilised. It's good that they're actually starting to breed. And then we put food in here. Right. That should keep them going nicely for a little while. Then we need to go and get Centuria to eat a bush, because otherwise she'll starve to death, and that's not cool. Uh, she a dodo as well. Fair enough. Then I need to find out a uh, feeding. I need fiber, metal, thatch, and wood. All right. Let's grab some fiber. Rexy, let's go. There's wood and there's thatch and we'll get a river stone on the way back that should give us some metal probably there we go right now feeding oh not enough metal cool There we go, that's enough. Again, I, I don't know if I actually can put meat in this thing. I would assume so. It's just going to go off quicker than the berries, I think, isn't it? Ah, the Iguanodon here is uh, wandered out so we can eat that as well. Nice. Um, I have lost Pepper. She's not dead. I just don't know where she is. 
which is inconvenient. There's no way of tracking them, is there? Or oh, there is no way of tracking them that I am, as of yet, aware. I realise I shouldn't just blanketly say there's no way of doing X when I, in reality, have absolutely no idea whether there is or is not a way of doing X. You are far too close to where my baby will be. Piss off. Feed my baby. Right, so we'll put the fridge in that corner and we'll put the feeding trough over here. Honestly, seeing a T-Rex eat out of this is going to be hilarious. Yeah, we can fill it up with meat. Hom nom nom, and we'll take that out. There we go. And then we've got these two parsasaur eggs that we'll put in the fridge inside, just for now. I'm going to take them around there at some point later. That Passasaur enclosure needs its own little hatchery building, basically, with a much smaller door, obviously, but it does still need a hatchery building. This is going to need, like, a chest filled with, uh, just filled with wood, I think, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the next thing. Yep, we'll put a large storage chest here. And then I'm going to go and collect wood for that while this incubate incubates. Five minutes and we'll have our first ever baby Rexy. So my egg is about to hatch and I must admit, look, just being stood in here and looking at the thing, it does seem like colossal overkill in terms of the size of the fucking place for this tiny little egg there. Oh, it took such a long time to gather the reason. It didn't actually. It took like an hour, maybe, maybe two. Really, not as long as it could have done. It was quite a fun little grind, but it doesn't look great, does it? There must be a nicer way to do it than this. Do they need to be inside, or can they just be next to enough fires? Maybe we'll try that over with the passersers. Just put a bunch of fires down. Maybe they don't even need to be inside. There it is. Look how cute it is! Little Babby Rex. Imprint on the little Babby Rex and we'll call it Babby Rex 1. Right. Come on Babby Rex 1, it's not following me. I love its massive head. How do you give it care? Do I not get a chance to give it care then? Because I've had the settings turned up so much. I don't know if these are the right say, settings or not. This is the settings that someone gave me. I don't know if it's too... Um, if it's too much, too quick, not quick enough. Behaviour, enable wandering, and then you should be able to go over and eat, shouldn't you? Can you go and eat? Should we just put food into you? Might be easier. There we go. I think the stomping is a little bit over the top. <laughs> I don't think you should be stomping quite this much. Right, it's a girl. So that's good. I'll have to have a look at her through the special magnifying glass to tell whether or not she's worked. So there's no imprinting percentage. Is she growing too fast for me to imprint then? Hmm. Does seem like maybe she's maybe she's turned on to growing too fast. Or am I gonna get a chance to imprint on her once with the care maybe? I'm gonna keep an eye on her for the next few minutes and we'll see. Okay, so while baby Rexy is stomping around in here, we've just cared for her. We've just taken her on a little walk. She enjoyed that. I <laughs> figured it out. <laughs> Kinda. They're in here, the crops. I'm such an idiot. They're like in the thing. 
that makes sense. So as long as it's got fertilizer, it produces stuff, I think. Now, the berries, I'm thinking maybe are not worth it. That's kind of the position I'm in, that the berries might not actually be worth it because, you know, our stuff is so efficient at collecting. Um, I don't know what this is. I don't want it near me. Alright, alright, alright. Run away, that's fine. That's one way of dealing with it. Come here, you horrible bastard. There we go. I didn't know if it was uh, dangerous or not, so... Um, yeah, so the berries are so easy to get that maybe planting berries is pointless. But I'm kind of getting it with the fruit. I'm kind of getting what, what we do now. I think baby is... There we go. Baby is fully grown now. So this is our new T-Rex, who is pretty good, actually. I mean, and apparently when we get on it, it should be better because we've been printed on it. Um... Need to disable wandering. Um, we probably need to replace Sue with her, actually. I think she's better. Um, I'll have a look at all their stats and see if I can figure out how we should now go about breeding the rest of the dinos. Breeding the rest of the T Rexes to get the perfect ones. Guys! It's a little baby Argumentus. How do I? There we go. Imprint. Uh, baby Arge. One. Just for now. Just for now. But oh, it's adorable. Look how tiny it is. <laughs> we need to keep this little door shut then, because that's clearly small enough to get out. Oh, it's so cute. It's a little. <laughs> it's got a serious face. I love it. That's brilliant. <laughs> right, let's get, put some food in its inventory and then tell it it's allowed to wander. Hopefully, it will not um, get eaten when the baby T-Rex hatches. Our next baby T-Rex is ready in just over five minutes. Just going to keep breeding and breeding and breeding now until I get my perfect breeding pair for each of my T-Rexes and my Adventus, Adju, Adjunventus uh, birds, death chickens. T-Rex and death chicken, that's what I want to breed. Um, where's the door? Where's the door? I'm not overly interested in sorting out the cats just yet, but we will eventually do that but for now it is just t-rexes and chickens yes baby rex one is breeding with her dad but apparently that's okay in arc so don't call cps or anything it's fine it's all good hmm yeah just keep breeding eventually we're gonna get ourselves like a, a set of pretty good dinos and then I think it's time to start doing some serious resource grinding because looking at like these, I am way out of the tech level, like chemistry benches, uh, industrial forge I need, vault, want, uh, like a big box, I want that definitely. Um, elevator stuff is really cool. I mean, I'm wondering if I could turn this into like part of the structure or something as big as this into part of the structure for the base so you've got like this and then coming off the side you've got a greenhouse and then on top you've got your house i don't know it'd be cool i'd like to build something massive but i don't know how efficient that would be but yeah i think i think i need to start looking into um like electricity like actual power at the moment i've got none of that whatsoever Simple bullet. Yeah, I've got... I like how I haven't actually unlocked the pistol. I've just found a bunch of them. I haven't found any rifles, though. Uh, large crop plot. Yeah, I want to start putting some of them down. I 
Shields, I haven't played with the shields yet. I don't know how effective they are. Metal irrigation, I don't really think we need that. It's not like anyone's going to break our irrigation on single player. Um, <clears throat> and we've got a lot of blueprints for this metal stuff, so maybe I don't really need to build to get that yet. And again, I shouldn't, re I shouldn't really need metal stuff playing on single player. Then we've got electronics and polymer and the fabricator I still haven't played with. Electri electrical generator, I don't even know how I generate electricity. Electronics and 25 metal ingots. Yeah. So much to build. Here, this, these cryopods. War map. Flashlight, that's cool. Just a lot to uh, start looking into. Um, I did get the flak armor. It's got assault rifle, laser sights. Provides insulation from heat and cold. Yeah, we'll want that at some point. Um, industrial grinder. I don't know. Yeah, probably going to need that. don't think I really need C4. Saddle is mounted with a cannon. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I. Our current base just I don't think is big enough to start playing with electricity and stuff. I mean, we could always just build another house over there somewhere. Just stay in this area for now. Um. But I am mostly focusing on. At the moment, I really want to get to the point where I can go fight one of the bosses. Which is why I'm trying to breed myself an army. You know, if I don't have a refrigerator and I don't have electronics, that's not the end of the world. If I have an army of T-Rexes and I can go kill the boss. <laughs> what the hell is that? Holy shit, that's big. Can I even hurt that? Yeah, but poof, it's gone. Oh, wow. I don't like the water. The water is very scary. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just up at Kano Island. Carnosaur Island, as I've been told it's called. Flapping around, killing some stuff. Getting some loot boxes. Seeing if I can find... A better, any better T-Rexes to add to the gene pool um, just while I wait for my many many Rexes to breed themselves oh that was a Sarko saddle cool yeah huh cool a better Sarko saddle not found any good uh, Rex saddles or anything yet uh, level 125 not bad much better than any of the ones we've got, but kind of not caring about the cats very much. I think I've got a few berries breeding, so they're going to be my smaller, more maneuverable dinos, and yeah, I won't bother breeding the cats anymore. They're not worth it, I don't think. They're very small, they're very weak. Or at least that's how they come across to me anyway. I could be entirely wrong. Is that a Rex? Level 95. Hmm. Nah, I don't think so. So yeah. Essentially just loot kill everything so that more stuff respawns. What is that? Don't go into the water basically. Yeah, the water around this island is unbelievably dangerous. Oh, I'm dying. I'm I'm too hot. Oh shit. Uh that's not good. Didn't realize that. Ha. How do I fix that? Is it the armor? Is the armor too hot? If I take that off. 
Ah, that worked. There we go. And then, sort of keep an eye on this female Rex. And there's a, another loop thing somewhere. Does it come down yet? No, nope, it's there. So we'll go pick that up in a second. Oh. I have killed so many babies now. Look, they're producing another one for me to kill. I live in a state of existential horror where I force animals to breed only to murder their babies when they come out substandard. And then I butcher the babies and feed them back to the parents, giving them the energy to produce more babies. And thus the cycle of death continues. I was up till 3 a.m. last night, breeding babies and killing babies. So, so many babies. So much death. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> the first thing they see when they hatch is this fucker wearing the head of a dead dino. And then they, they wag their little tails happily and they want me to imprint on them and I give them a name. And then I check their stats and... And then the sword comes out and, well, so, so much death. So much death. Here it is. Here she is. Finally. The one we have been waiting for. The promised one. The chosen one. The best female dino we can breed options change name uh, actually no we'll, one second I can't remember what I've called the male one let's move her out of the way of the fire so she doesn't get stuck like that one has uh, I don't know how we're gonna get that out right one second. actually I should be able to just look at her parents shouldn't I oh piss off I'm starving apparently Right, she should not have any mutations. Yep, that's good, I think. I don't know. She is perfect male. Yes, yeah, so it's just perfect female. And I'm dehydrated as well. Oh, I just want to rename the baby. Well, there we go. That's it. We have now finally bred ourselves as good a breeding pair of dinos as we can. So I'm going to... Um, perfect female. I'm going to essentially let the perfect male and the perfect female have one baby and that's going to be the one I ride around on any other eggs they have I'll put into storage. Uh, do we have any fertilized T-Rex eggs? We do, so I'm just going to get them out and eat them. Yeah. Just so they're not there anymore. And obviously I'm trying to do the same with the Baryonyx and the birdies. <sighs> Birdies are far less important. I have a bunch of them and they fulfill their role quite nicely. Now then, that means I need to move the T-Rexes away. Let's turn off the mating for them all. I'm going to keep the females for their eggs. Um, Yeah, I'm gonna keep the female ones for their eggs, so I need to sort of line them up somewhere, I think. Where would be a good place? Where do we have enough space? Probably here along the coast is actually quite good, isn't it? We put like her there and then we can take the saddle off of her. Yeah, and we'll line the females up there, and I'll just make sure I imprint on this baby, and then we'll have our breeding pair. 
And then we'll be able to, yeah, like I said, their first baby will be our one that we take out. The males, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the rest of the males yet, but we'll figure it all out. Here it is. This is it. This is our leveled up newborn baby from the perfect male and the perfect female. And it's amazing. It's fantastic. We can use it. And if it dies, I don't care. Because every baby they produce will have these stats now. So it just doesn't matter to me, does it? I mean, obviously, like, once I've leveled it up a bit and put levels in it, I'll be sad if it dies, but for now, it's just not important. We can run around, it's got 10 levels in it, or 10 levels up already. We can feed it some food. I'm thinking of putting health down to so we don't lose it, probably, yeah. Health first, maybe get up to like 20k or something? Oh, what does one point get us up to? Nine. Right, so it's almost a full thousand just from a point. There we go, we're almost at 20k already. And obviously this means that the game thinks we have like no health and we're about to die. <laughs> so it's going to take a long time to heal up this dino. But this is brilliant. We can now use and produce these t-rexes obviously if we find any better ones we can introduce them to the gene pool but for now this is brilliant it means i've got a renewable supply of monsters to ride i can fight stuff and i won't be like super disheartened when it dies that's brilliant um my next thing that i'm gonna do between now and the next episode off camera is the same as what i've done here but with my batteries I would very much like to get some berries leveled up and bred up so that we can maybe think about taking them into caves. I know there are several caves around the island. Uh, I know that I can't fit in there with a T-Rex, for example. That thing might kill me. Oh no, it won't. It's, the health looks so low because, again, yeah, yeah. I know why the health looks like I'm an idiot. <laughs> this is brilliant. The T-Rex is fantastic. Um, really? That's very brave of you. Oh, did I injure it by stepping on it? This is fantastic. Yeah, this thing is so strong. Absolutely insanely strong. Um, yeah, so I'm going to breed up the berries and then I'm going to really try and find some caves. I'm going to go flapping around see if we can find some caves. I am certain someone told me that there is a cave around here on this mountain. Um, I am 100% certain that someone's told me that, obviously, because how would, else would I like? Unless I've just dreamt it. That does sound like me. <laughs> I think there's a cave around there because we had an episode where I was like oh look there's metal on the top of the mountain and people like yeah there's a cave there as well you idiot so <laughs> so I'm going to try and find that cave breed up the berries and then next episode hopefully if I can get them done we'll be able to do some spelunking some caving some exploring the deep dark depths of Ark and hopefully not dying in a cave sad and alone that would be bad but that is, as we hit 20,000 health and 500% damage, that is all we have time for for today. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye.